All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Off Axis Builds. Tonight, we're going to be replacing a toilet. I'm going to go through the whole uh, process of removing the old toilet and replacing the new toilet. Uh, it's a fairly simple process. Maybe if everything it's, goes smoothly, it should take you about a half an hour, 45 minutes to do the job. Uh, hopefully, if the floor is not rotted out, uh, then that, that'll be a whole other story. But if you're just removing a toilet and putting a new one in, check this out. All right, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell for upcoming notifications. All right, guys. Check it out. First thing you're going to want to do when you're changing a toilet out, you're going to want to turn the water off to the tank. Then you're going to want to flush the tank to get all, as much water as you can out of the main tank. Once all that water's out, you're going to have to scoop out the water out of the main bowl into a bucket or into a sink. So the best way to scoop out the water is to get a cap or a little cup something small that you can get all the way down to the bottom of the the bowl and you're just going to keep doing it until it's empty so now that you have most of the water taken out of the tank and the bowl you can go ahead and remove the line feeding the main tank uh, before you move that line you want to make sure that you have the water completely off. I went ahead and turned off the water before I started the job, which is the best way to do it. So this part is completely optional. I removed the tank from the bowl. In order to do that, you need to remove the screws in the bottom of the tank and the nut on the bottom of the, the bowl. I did this to lighten it up to take it downstairs. So the next step is to remove the caps that are holding the, the bowl down to the ground. And those caps are little plastic caps. Just get a screwdriver and pop them off. And then the nut on the inside is actually a 7 16 nut. It usually is a 7 16 nut. In my case, that's what it was. You can have one on both sides of the, the tank. So with your 7 16 wrench, go ahead and take off the bolts holding down the bowl. After removing the bowl, you're going to want to remove this wax ring that seals the bowl down to the ground. It's really easy. There's a little rubber gasket on the inside of this wax. Just go in there and pry it up and it'll come right up. Then you're going to want to clean off any excess and remove the old bolts. So as you can see here, we chose an American Standard toilet. There's many other brands that you could use. Uh, this one happens to be a full toilet in a box. Um, it's really nice. It comes with the bowl, it comes with the tank, the bowl lid, uh, seat, and all the hardware that you need to install this. It even comes with a wax ring. So the first step is to get this rubber gasket onto the tank itself. Uh, just go ahead and press it on. It'll fit around that nut on the bottom of that tank. Then take that tank and set it on top of the bowl. And with these nuts, you're going to bolt it on, one on each side of the tank. Make sure that you tighten those nuts down tight enough to make a good seal between the tank and the bowl. Some kits provide a tool for installation. This one happens to have a tool to tighten that bolt down. If you don't have that, 
get a uh, half inch wrench and, and a, a flathead screwdriver on the inside of the tank and just tighten it down. So you're going to go ahead and install this plastic nut. That's going to actually hold down the cap to cover all the hardware here. Once you have that snug, you're going to put a metal washer on top of that and a metal nut and tighten it all down to hold the toilet down. Once you have it all aligned where you want it, go ahead and cut the bolt off and then put your cap over the, all of it. Now you're going to want to reinstall the water hose to the the tank and turn your water on slowly to make sure you don't have any leaks. So you're going to want to check for leaks at the bottom of the bowl and the tank, at the floor, and also at the hose connecting the tank to the wall. After you've flushed it a few times, Go ahead and make your water level adjustment. Now how you do that is you screw the fitting in or out, depending on how you want it, the water to sit. If you screw it in, it's going to make the water sit lower. If you screw it out, it's going to make the water sit higher. I like to set my water level about a half an inch lower than that black pipe in the center. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Off Access Builds. I hope you enjoyed uh, this DIY Friday of uh, replacing a toilet. And, uh, again, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Remember, guys, it's always built, not bought. See you in the next one, guys.